sister say uh, uh, to you, Lahat? Huh? You, you gave me, you said, it, you said, hey, Shalom, hey, sis, can I give me, you a fly? Don't call me, sis. She said, don't call me, sis. I'm a queen. I'm a queen. What queen don't have a king? How you a queen when you have not been given that authority by a king? Bring it out. Our sisters is delusional. Read what you got. Lamentation chapter 4 and verse 3. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. What's going on, sis? You get a fly? The Lord is comparing the black woman to a sea monster. Read it again. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. Go ahead. They give suck to their young ones. Uh -huh. The daughter of my people is to become cruel. The daughter of my people has become cruel. Yeah. We say, hey, I'm telling you, that's what the Bible say. And you know what? The biggest reason is because you simp-ass brothers protect them in their wickedness. Bring it, up. Read it again. The daughter of my people is become cruel. Uh -huh. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. Like what? The ostriches in the wilderness. So now the Lord is comparing the black woman to an ostrich. You know the ostrich with the long neck. She go around shaking her neck, shaking her head. You know, shaking her big behind, her big backside. Read on. Verse 4. The tongue of the sucking now child. The from the three. Yes, sir. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. So the Lord is comparing the black woman to a sea monster. Go ahead. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel. So the sea monster gives suck to their young ones, right? But he says the daughter of my people has become cruel because you know what? Y'all out here trying to get that lace front so you could go to the club tonight and you ain't, you ain't thinking about breastfeeding your That's children. Funny. Family dollar. You ain't get ready, get, you ain't get ready breastfeed your child, uh, uh, Jim Bean. Treated by slavery? Or, or Cisco. Damn. You know who it is, like uh, cognac. cognac, right? Oh, what what, what y'all like to drink? You good? What, you know, uh, you know, Cabassier you know, or Patron? Read it again for the top. Even what? the sea monsters draw out the breath. Uh -huh. They get stuck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel. And hey, you hear what the Bible saying, bro, about the black woman? Read it again. Even the sea now monsters says, draw out the breath. They get sucked to their young ones. I'm going to tell y'all something. Baby, drop that right quick. Get uh, Ezekiel 3 and 4. I'm going to tell y'all something. The Lord is ramping things up, and y'all ain't paying attention. Bring it out. And when Family Dollar ain't got no more food or uh, whatever they sell up in there for you, when it ain't no more uh, uh, Win dixie for y'all to go to, right. save a lot, China one. Right. Y'all gonna be looking for the brothers in purple. Right. Yep. Because right now we trying to sound the alarm and show y'all the things that are to come. Right. Right? Because your pastors ain't doing that for you. Right? You ain't learned none of this in school. But when them when them hard times come, y'all gonna be looking for it. Read uh read um Ezekiel chapter three verse four. Ezekiel chapter three and verse four. Read it out. And he said unto me. Son of man, go, get thee unto the house of Israel. That's where we are, right here in the hood amongst our people. The house of Israel, the children of Israel. You hear that, my brother? You are the children of Israel. Read. And speak with my words unto them. And do what? And speak with my words unto them. That's why when the sister said, what do y'all feel about the white people? Now, don't worry about what we feel about white people. We uh, Ask us what we feel about sin. Talking about you know who you are, but you coming out buying and selling after the, the, the beginning of the Sabbath and you dressed immodestly. Hey, but you worried about the white man. The white man is, is parked with his feet up in your brain. That's where the white man is. Read. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. Hey, sisters, let me ask y'all a quick question before y'all go in that store and commit sin. Let me ask y'all a quick question. Yeah, I got, I'm going to speak it real. Before you go in the store and commit sin, sister, just check this out right quick. Listen up, listen up. What's your nationality? What they say? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Hey, I, I, I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something. Because look, 
That man in there don't give a damn about you, but he wants you to bring your money in there. Y'all, y'all, hey, y'all, y'all done seen the videos of your sisters getting their ass kicked by them. And then, and then when we step, when we step up for y'all, then he lowered the price of, of the of the hair. Fifty percent. Listen, listen to what I'm saying to you, sis. This is what I'm saying. I'm still finna buy my hair. Say what now? She said she's still finna buy her hair. Still gonna, you, you still go, you still go send his kids through college. I got you, sis. Go, hold on a second, cause you listening. I'm gonna deal with you. What's your nationality? What nation of people do you come from? Why you gotta put the camera on? I can't, I can't hear you. He, he got you off. She don't know. You don't know? Okay. You know what? That's a very good answer. Because a lot of our people don't know. That's why we out here. Isaiah 1 and 3. Bring it out. Isaiah 1 and 3. Yeah, he telling you if you don't get in there, he going to close the store and uh, you ain't going to get no hair tonight. That's all right. He's going to be there tomorrow. Don't transgress God's Sabbath. That's what we out here for. Don't transgress God's Sabbath. Because you know what? The Sabbath wasn't given to him. I'm going to prove that. Give me Exodus chapter 31, verse 16. No. You no. see, your God ain't his God. Bring it up. And your God got you in this condition for, on, for sis, breaking his commandments. Can I give you Let's some read. reading Exodus 31 and 16. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. So now the Sabbath began at sundown. Right. Tonight. Right. Tonight is the Sabbath. Read. For a perpetual covenant. So your, 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 your girlfriend can pull you in there, but you still gonna hear these words, and God still gonna convict your spirit. Right. Read. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel. It is a what? A sign between me and the children of Israel. That's and I'm gonna right. show you something. That show you that our people have no love for each other. Right. Our people don't give a damn about each other. And the other nations drive by and they laugh about it. Yep. Read. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. Uh -huh. And on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. Yeah, go ahead and get us on, on camera. It's good. But we still read about you and we read about our people. And you know you're damn wrong for uh, having your store open at this time. But you know that time is coming. Judgment's coming, bro. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to a the Sabbath sis? throughout their generation. Does she get a flower? So when we set this when we when we set this place back in order under the spirit of the most high God and right, you will keep the commandments. Yes, right. Read. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel. Hey, that's a very good question, sis. That's the best question. You've been walking around all night. That's the best question you ask. What is the commandments? We read them down. Read. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. So the Sabbath day is the commandment of the Lord. true book on the planet Earth. That's right. So now, what's your nationality, brother? Black. Okay. Black is not a nationality. Because there's no nation of black. There's no land of black. But that's what we've been told. It's fine that you say that because we used to say that too. These are the lies that we have been, been told. This is what has been perpetuated to us by our oppressors. So, if you don't know, we're going to show you. We're going to show you. We're not Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew is a language. We're Israelites. Okay? This is how we know. Deuteronomy 28, 15. And then jump straight to 68. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, 
that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So I want you to look at a curse. If you turn around and you look at these windows and you see all these sisters, all your beautiful black sisters, they want to look like somebody other than who they are. That's a curse. That's a curse. And part of it is because it's because of us. Because we don't love them in a natural uh, in a natural um, state, right? Chasing after all the other nations. Read on. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Again how? With ships. That's how we got scattered across the earth. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So now let me ask you a question, brother, because we're dealing with our nationality. What people here on the shores of America were sold to other people? Who did that happen to? Everybody. It happened to everybody? Okay, show us everybody it happened to. Because hold on. For you to say that, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna deal with you, bro. I'm gonna deal with you. How you gonna ask me a question? That's what I'm saying. I'm, I, I just asked you a question. You said everybody. Now I'm following up. I'm following up. I'm gonna I'm I'm help you though. No, you're not gonna help me, because you don't have no understanding. Hey, so now, hold on. You said everybody. You said, brother, brother, brother. You said everybody. Paul said, Paul said. You can't quote Paul because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. That's way above your strength, bro. I, I, hey, I'm going to tell you that's you way above you your strength. You Let's deal with the you people. People. Yeah, I do. You're I do. This is how I know. Give me Psalms 111 and 10. This is how I know, bro. We're trying to help you. This is how I know. This is how I know. This is how I know you don't know nothing about Paul's letter. You're not humble. Read. You're not humble. Read. You're not humble. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Go ahead. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So now if you're doing his commandments, you may have some understanding about it. But you ain't doing nothing. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring no. it out. Let's just give one example that we know that this brother lacks wisdom. He's not going to teach us nothing. Right. Brother, right. you ain't right. teaching us nothing. Right. Read. Numbers 15, 38. He said, we just talking. But here, I was dealing with him, and I followed up with a question. And if the brother actually knew anything, he would be able to prove his point. Like out. the Bible says, sure. prove all things. Yes. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments. Because if you have wisdom, you ain't going around talking about my nationality is black. Right. Ain't nobody on the planet's nationality black. Yes. Read. Throughout their generations, Excuse me, on their garments throughout their generation. So, one of the ways that we know if you have the beginning of wisdom is that you don't put fringes on the border of your garments because you love and honor your God. That's Read. Right. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Uh -huh. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do them. And do what? And do them. And do them. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. Let's read 2815 again. And do them. Let's see that the Lord say that we were supposed to do his commandments or else we was going to get these curses. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something. The, the brother want to argue with us, but if you notice, he wouldn't even turn around and look at those images of our destroyed sisters. Right. Because he loved our sisters being in a destroyed state. Yep. Where are you real brothers out here? That's going to that's gonna put our nation back in order. Leviticus chapter 13 verse 19. You know what I want. You know what I want. Alright, I hope he gave y'all a hell of a deal on that. No, I, actually I hope he charged y'all double. Read. <laughs> Leviticus 13 and the verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague. Since we just trying to stand, spare y'all out. That's it. You go into you go into people that openly hate you and you're supporting them. Read what we read what you got. If it be in sight, deeper than the skin. Hold on, this is it. Read. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. A what? Yellow thin hair. Uh-huh. Read. 
Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Then the priest shall pronounce you unclean. That yellow thin hair, when you follow your oppressors, they call it blind. Give me Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. Because I know y'all y'all quick to get in the car, close the, close the door, roll the windows up, turn on the music, light your blunt so that y'all ain't got to hear the word of the Lord. Go ahead. But this is what the Lord says to you that don't want to hear his word. Read. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 9. Uh -huh. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. That's what the black woman out here in Pine Hills is doing. Right. Turning her ear away from hearing the Lord, the laws of God. Read. Right. Even his prayer. Even what? Even his prayer what? shall be abomination. Your prayer is going to be just like that yellow mop on the top of your head. Right. Worth nothing. Right. Worth nothing. Hey, do y'all love the Lord? Do y'all love the Lord? So they keep God's commandments. Because you know what? You are the children of Israel. Don't break God's commandments going in that store. Right. But they would not hear. They would not listen. They cast the laws of God behind their back. Let's read it. Ezekiel 9 and 1. Uh -huh. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's ink horn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the Lord of Israel was gone up from the cherub, upon he, excuse me, whereupon he was, to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Do what? Go through the midst of the city. Right now, we in the midst of the city. Right. Through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. We talking about abominations being done in the midst thereof. Right. We got the ungodly fools right here in our neighborhood. Right. We got our sisters uh, wanting to look like their oppressors in our neighborhoods. We right. got more ungodly fools right there. Right. We got we got the liquor store because there's a liquor store in every black neighborhood. Ain't that right, bro? There's a liquor store. There's about 15 liquor stores in every black neighborhood. Right. Yeah, you know that. Why you smiling? You know it. That's that's crafty counsel that our enemies have set up to keep us in a low and dumb estate. Read. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men. I want, I want to ask you a quick question, brother, if you don't mind. I just want to ask you a quick question. A lot of times we ask our people, um, what do our people need to do? And they say we need to come together, right? You ever heard, you ever heard black people say that? We need to come together, especially after one of us get killed, right? We say we need to come together, right? When we gonna start doing that? Cause right now it's, it's a Friday night, and we out here, we out here telling our people don't break God's commandments, don't break the Sabbath day. That's punishable by death if you don't repent. And you know what? Don't nobody want to hear it. So we don't really want to come together to do it. That's that's a BS statement. Do you love the Lord, bro? You love the Lord. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Who you come from? From the island? Okay, Jamaica? Virgin Islands? Y'all was under the queen? Huh? Huh? Y'all was under the queen? You know the queen that just died? You weren't crying, was you? Huh? Now, nah, nah, hey, bro, I'm being serious because a lot of our people was crying because their oppressor died. What we gonna do, bruh? We, we bringing out the solutions right now. Listen to this, Deuteronomy 28 and 10. Listen to this. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Did y'all get a flyer, sisters? Did y'all get a flyer? 
That's us right now. Cursed are we in the city because we got to go to our oppressors for the one of all things. Go ahead. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Read, uh, uh, jump down to verse 48. Verse 48, therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So we should serve the enemies which our God sent against us. Go ahead. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Wait a minute. Why doesn't it say he shall put a yoke of iron upon everybody's neck, like the brother said? Right. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he have destroyed thee. So God said he will send enemies against us, and those enemies will put yokes of iron upon our necks until we've been destroyed. One of the ways we've been destroyed is our sisters want blonde hair in their head. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.